Well, happy Wednesday, everybody. It is June 22nd. I'm Pastor Scott Disler from eFree Church. And as always, thank you for tuning in to our morning check-in, whether you watch it live when we post it about 7.30 every morning or you watch it later on in the day. It's encouraging to us because within about a week, we have anywhere from six to 800 people who watch these little four-minute snippets. And uh, that happens because folks like you share them on their Facebook page. We encourage you to do that. And we love to see you comment and let us know how God's using these in your life in the comment section. Always encouraging to us. Now, we've reached the point in Genesis chapter 2 where we finally get to the apex of God's creation, the masterpiece. And of course, we're talking about Eve, the woman, a wife. So I want you to see that in this passage, Eve coming into the picture and God establishing marriage really stemmed from a problem. Let me read Genesis 2 verse 18. Now remember, God's created Adam. He's created all that there is. And he says this, Then the Lord God said, It is not good. Now stop for a second. Because if you go back and you read the Genesis account, the creation account, every time God created something, he would stop, look at it and go, It is good. It is good. Sometimes he said, it is very good. This is the first time that God utters the words, it's not good. And who's he looking at? Man, go figure. The first time he says something's not good, it's Adam. What wasn't good? It is not good for the man to be alone. Now stop. This is important. Because you see, this did not catch God by surprise. God is not looking going, man, I I, I need to tweak this. I did something wrong. It's not the case. God knew exactly what he was doing. You know what this tells me? When God created Adam, he created him with a need for companionship. That is a God-given need. Society doesn't create that. God did. When he creates us, he creates us with a need for a companion. And in this case, God knows exactly what he's going to do. He says, I will make him a helper suitable for him. Now we know exactly what God has in mind, don't we? He's going to now make Eve. And he's going to bring Eve to Adam. And we're going to have the first wedding in recorded history. Because God created man with a need for companionship. And God already knows in his perfect plan what is the best way to meet that need. And the best way to meet that need is a wife. You see, this whole thing about marriage is divinely inspired. It was part of the plan of God from the very beginning. I will create man with a need for a companion. And then I will give him a wife who is the only one who can perfectly meet that need for companionship. So you would expect, would you not, that the next verse would say, so God formed Eve out of Adam's rib. But that's not the next verse. The next verse almost seems completely out of order. It almost doesn't make sense. Now, what is the next verse? What does God say next? Well, I'm going to tell you tomorrow morning. So you don't want to miss tomorrow morning's morning check-in. I hope you'll share this on your Facebook page. Let me pray. God, thank you that your plan is always perfect. May you fulfill that perfect plan in our lives today. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another morning check-in.